All right, so an interesting stylistic clash in front of this young fighter here tonight. You gotta think he's trying to figure out how best to get this fight to the ground and use his ability to pass. This guy cuts the guard with the best of them. Great technique, but also a plus athlete. And he's not afraid to lean on that athleticism and do some unorthodox things to better position himself on the ground. This guy has the ability to take shots that would put other fighters out, absorb the punishment, and just with sheer toughness, come back from the brink of defeat and achieve victory. So Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning fast kicks coming in here tonight. This guy has thunderous kicking power amongst the scariest kickers in the world of mixed martial arts, and his opponent has to be keenly aware of that danger. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Butcher. And now he's his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Hoodoo! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliotta. Dan Mergliotta, your referee. Are uh, you ready? You ready? Let's and we are guys. underway. Really good body kick. Lands a big right hand early. Hard hook. Oh, very nice. Head kick. Edge of his feet action as expected so far. And he connects with the punch there. Defensively leaving a lot to be desired there. He moved right into that hook. His head was wide open and there for the taking. Let's see if he can make some adjustments here moving forward. He's trying to stay up. He is in big, big trouble. Hurt him with that Superman punch. Oh! Huge shot there, Lance Flush. Now he goes for the single leg. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. now. Looking for the left hook. How about that shin? Both men landing in that exchange. Oh! He had a big shot. He's got right here. Yeah, this is a little wobbly on his foot. Now goes in and secures the takedown. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Joe. 
Half guard. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, oh this could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Hard jab. Oh, we got tagged again. He's hurt. So we're in the first five minutes down. Oh, saved by the bell. That's the end of the round, and thankfully for him, it came at the right time. He got knocked down just before the horn. We'll see if his corner can keep him in the fight. Just 60 seconds with which to recover here before the next round. And here, a perfectly placed punch results in a knockdown. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is in the building. Second round underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Nice. Oh, there's the head kick, it's blocked. Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. Oh! He's in big trouble. Oh, he's out. He's out. And just like that, he's out. the fight is over. Landed a hard kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. Let's take a look at that again. Check it out here. Bam! Out cold. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 46 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Butcher! So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. Coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. So as this guy makes the walk here tonight, let's talk about the kicking technique. It is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph anything. He gets his foot to the target blindingly fast. Shades of Edson Barboza, the foot off the canvas to the target as quick as anyone you'll ever see. Guys don't even see it coming. His opponent's certainly weary of those lightning fast kicks coming into the octagon tonight. This guy is taking shots to the jaw that would put many fighters unconscious and pressed forward as if nothing happened. His chin is legendary. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents 
and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense consummate sticker and mover. He gets his head off of the center line, and even when you think you have him in a compromising position, more often than not, he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center, in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting. Philippines, Richie Boy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Kid Diamond! I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after it. There you go. First one, you ready? You ready? Let's well, always great to be back in the Pacific time zone. We get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. Good to have you with us for a night of UFC action. That one hurt. Left punch is wow. clean, followed by a whip. Execution for a knockout blow. 
Yeah, Joe, beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. There we see it again. Look at this. Crank right on the jaw. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pretty Boy! So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight, and he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. As hard a title shot to come by as there is in any UFC division is at 155 pounds. Here he is, the consensus number one lightweight title challenger, the number one contender, at least in terms of the rankings, getting set for a title fight here tonight. A lot of people think he is a live underdog in this championship setting. I guess we'll find out here, Joe Rogan. As he makes his way towards the cage, his preparation has been perfect. He is in fantastic shape, had an amazing camp, and he believes that he is in the perfect position to become the new champion of the world. As he steps into the octagon right now, he steps in with a champion's mindset. Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Bates. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, Boom Boom. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Manila, Philippines.
Philippines, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bam Bam. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. UFC lightweight title on the line. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. That's a nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Finds a home for that left hook. That's a big hook. Nasty combinations here. Hard straight punch. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. He's got to get his head off the center line. Oh, big shot. here. And he connects there. Great combinations. I like the way he's mixing these up. Very good job of timing these punches. Oh! Punches better. He's landing a lot of uppercuts. Yeah, it seems like every time he throws that uppercut, he finds a home for it. Nicely done. That one appeared to stun him. The champion is in big trouble here. He is in danger of losing his title. He's hurt here. Look at this, take down! <laughs> Attempts a big hook to the head, but misses. It looks like he's looking to set up that uppercut. Oh, asking, you shall receive. There it is for him, yet again, right on cue. That one hurt. He's doing a great job of being unpredictable and mixing things up here. Under two minutes to go. Wow! Oh! Big knee! He's got him hurt here. Oh, he's going for it here. Nice takedown. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, Joe. How about that shin? The kick lands. Oh. He's stunned. Gets home. This is crazy! Oh my goodness! Now goes in and secures the takedown. And now into full guard. Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Whoa! High kick! He He's out! And that's gonna do it! Perfectly placed strike to end the fight. Yeah, Joe, just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Great angle here. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done, but get it done with style points as he gets the knockout to leave with the goal. The official decision, it resides with Bruce Bain is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion Some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see.
New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division, and it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class.